What's up, YouTube? Capital G here. So as you guys have already heard, Elder God Noden is finally going to be released. It's coming out in the Mega Tens this year. And honestly, let me just be straightforward about these Mega Tens. These look like absolute must buys. I mean, you literally can buy this Mega Ten right here, right? And let's say the Mega Ten's twenty bucks. Okay, you get a Secret Rare Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon. It's like a seven dollar card, maybe. You get an Elder God Noden. I mean, well, they renamed it Norden. I don't understand why. We can't even put a price on that. And you get a free Majesty's Fiend. I mean, a Majesty's Fiend right now is going for about 16 bucks. So just based off of the Pendulum Dragon and the Majesty's Fiend, like, you've already made your money back. The same thing with the other 10. Like, a Dark Rebellion XC Dragon is $11 card. A Castell is a $16 card. You basically are getting the, the Elder and Outer Gods for kind of free and now i, I kind of i kind of find it funny that they call them um entities like old entity <laughs> that's so silly but anyways the main card we want to talk about is noting honestly i feel like it's complete just desserts for certain yugi tubers who were like get wrecked tcg there's no elder god noting in world super like everybody was so quick to jump on world superstars about how like it was a terrible set and i've never understood that because it's like if we got Elder God Noden, everybody would have complained about how quote unquote national season is ruined because let's be real, when when Noden comes out later this year, you guys are gonna see a huge impact by this card. This is not like this is not gonna be one of those Yugi tubers or like aboard the hype train. This card is fucking real. If you don't know what this card does, oh my goodness. It's a fusion. You have to use a synchro or an Xe plus a synchro monster or an Xe to summon it, but no one ever summons Noden like that everybody just uses instant fusion Noden basically gives every single deck the ability to run wolf bark and multiples and what's good about Noden is not only is he just totally abusable in things like star seraf because right now getting to those big ranked uh fours cards like Ouroboros and deltaros is like really really easy when you run star seraf but you know how keep how we're kind of considering cards like shock troops so that we have waters for the shit alls? Well, guess what? <laughs> you can pretty much throw that shit out the window because now you have Elder God Noden. And one of the biggest things about Noden and why it made Shadow so good is it is basically a one card Shadow fusion or a one card L fusion. You don't have to search for a whole bunch of monsters or think about, oh my god, I got a dead hand. You literally just activate instant fusion, you summon Noden, then you get your Falco, you get your dragon, you get your, you know, Squamata or whatever, and your all your fusion cards are automatically live, and Noden basically just did it dolo. Like he did it by himself. And you don't have to worry about drawing it. So, like you don't have to worry about drawing what if you open with two or god forbid three copies of shock you know shock troops of the ice barrier and it, again i'm not saying shock troops is a bad card it's just noting is far superior for summoning you know analyth you know if you have noting you just have to you never have to worry about drawing it you draw instant fusion and you can just activate them in multiple turns so noting is going to be amazing don't look at this when the this card leaves the field banish that target effect as like a bad thing because Honestly, all you have to do if you really want to keep your monster that badly, all you got to do is just succeed with it. You can get any level four that you want. So I don't know, man. People like anybody trying to downplay Noden's effect on the TCG when it comes out. Like, I know we're going to be in a different format, but like, don't be stupid. Usually, I know if you go against hype, you'll be right. But come on, there's a reason. And I actually called this, um, I think like eight months ago, I was like, dude, Instant Fusion needs to go to one because when Noden comes out, he's going to fucking terrorize everything. So anybody who said um, bad things about World Superstars, I think, again, you just got your just desserts because we're getting the card three months anyway. Like we're getting the cards three months after World Superstars anyway. So it's, it's not that big of a deal. And it's really good that Konami pick this card to be like a, a 10 uh, a 10 card because now everybody can get it robbie had a fucking retarded idea of and i i hate using that word i apologize robbie had an idiotic idea of oh my god let's make it a, a what's it called like um a, a ycs prize card because everybody has a thousand dollars just sitting around like that's fucking idiotic but anyways thank you guys for watching as always kunami thank you guys for giving us this card where everybody pretty much can have access to it i kind of feel like either no one should have had access or everybody should have had access not just players who want to spend like you know monstrous amounts of money let me know what you guys think i think that noden is about to change the game up and i think everybody out there needs to be careful what they ask for because he's finally going to be here guys